Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are here at the gate in London Heathrow Airport on board the beautiful Phoenix A320. I will be showing you all the steps needed to take this plane from a cold and dark state all the way to ready for pushback. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So welcome on board the flight deck of the Airbus A320. To get things started here, we need to come all the way to the overhead panel and turn on the batteries right here. Then we're gonna jump down here, turn on the exterior power, assuming the GPU is connected. We're gonna turn on the crew supply, we will turn on the nav and lower lights, you can turn on either on either one of these two positions. We'll also turn on the strobe lights as well. We'll continue our flows, we will turn on the emergency exit lights to the armed position. And we will also turn on our no smoking signs. Now while the plane is doing its initial startup, we can come all the way to the EFB and import the flight plan from Simbrief. Now I'm doing this tutorial on board the Phoenix A320 since it's the most detailed out of all A320s in this simulator. But you can of course follow along if you're flying the Fly-by-Wire A320neo or the Inibils A320neo. So you can use this tutorial for pretty much all A320s in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Right, so now next step will be to align the IRS. We're gonna come up here, we'll turn all these three knobs to the nav position. Doesn't really matter in what order you do them, but usually you do one, two, and three. You put them all three in the nav position. So now we are going to enter our flight plan. You have two ways to do it. One is entering everything manually, or the second way will be to link the aircraft to your SimBrief profile and that's how you're going to be able to import the flight plan directly in the FMS or in this case the FMGC and then you will just need to add the departure and arrival runways and SIDs and STARS so basically what we're going to do today for demonstration purposes I'm going to enter in everything manually so that you can see how you have to do it so well, today we are going to be flying from London Heathrow all the way to Frankfurt so we're going to enter Echo Golf Lima Lima to Echo Delta Fox Foxtrot. Sorry, it's Echo Delta Delta Foxtrot. Sorry about that. There we go. We're going to go in the IRS init page. We're going to hit align and confirm. So now the IRS will start aligning. We're also going to be entering our flight number today is Speedbird 906 November. So we'll enter that in here. Cost index, you can get this all from your sim brief flight plan I will also make a dedicated tutorial on that as well very soon do not worry and cruise level is level 330 so now what I will do next if you're flying the Phoenix is go into the EFB and start the loading process so we have all the information from Simbrief so that's why I really recommend you sync the aircraft to your Simbrief profile you need to come up here to the settings and Simbrief username, you need to enter your ID into here. That's how you sync the Phoenix A320 to your Simbrief account. So now what I would do is actually go into the Mass and Balance tab and start loading the aircraft via GSX, because this is gonna take a while. So I recommend you start this as early as you can so that um, then you'll be ready when you when you have the aircraft set up. So next thing, we're gonna come down here. We're going to be entering our flight plan so out of London Heathrow, we are going to be departing on runway 27 right on the Delta Echo Tango 2 Fox for departure. There we go. We'll insert that. And then from here on, we need to select this waypoint. And then you have to look on your flight plan if you have a an airway or if you have a another direct waypoint to fly to. In this case, we have an airway. So we'll go to the airways page right here. And then we're going to enter in the airway, which in this case is Lima 6. And the if you have another airway after that, you're just going to enter the next one, which in this case is uniform Lima 9er. And then the waypoint is automatically going to get populated right here. And just like that, we're going to be continuing and entering all the airways. So now, since this was our last airway, we're going to enter in the final approach. Uh, we're going to enter in the beginning of our arrival which in this case is income we'll put that into here we'll insert and then we're going to select our arrival airport go to the arrival page 
and here we can select our approach we have planned for ILS 25 left and we're doing the income one arrival there we go now you might also have approach transitions in this case we don't so that's cool and our flight plan is enter we are going to check it out on the nav display once the RSS are aligned so at this stage what I recommend while you're waiting for the RSS to align and for the plane to get loaded I recommend to set up the flight control units or the FCU to change to hectopascals you just press this button and then you can go ahead and set that in there bear in mind the Phoenix is usually separated so you have to set both individually but on for example the flyby wire or the inables I noticed that they are linked or there's the option to get them linked so our initial climb will be flight level 60 bear in mind you can if you don't have any ATC get this from your chart if ATC tells you level, by all means, put that one in there. So now our inertial reference systems are aligned. We can see that by this little message that will pop up on your FMGC, which state GPS primary. So now what we're gonna do is check that the flat line has been entered in correctly. Now what I recommend you also do is turn on the constraints mode so now you can see all the altitudes along your flight plan. So you're going to put this into the plan mode and you're going to start stepping through and just making sure that you don't have any weird discontinuities or weird waypoints that have been potentially inputted into your flight plan. But for now it looks very nice. And here if you have a vector on your arrival I recommend you leave it like this if you fly on VATSIM since usually ATC does vector you manually for the ILS. So do not clear these vectors out unless you're flying by yourself or you're sure that you won't have any ATC at your arrival airport. So once refueling has been complete and boarding has been started, what I suggest you do is turn on the seatbelt signs and also turn on the fuel pumps so that we can start our APU. So for the APU start, you have to come over here, press this button, wait, one, two, three, and then start. And now the APU is going to start and the green available light will pop up here and then you can disconnect the GPU. So once the APU is started, you can turn on the APU bleed and disconnect the shear power. So now what's left to do to the aircraft is input the weight and the takeoff performance. However, this should only be done after all loading is complete. So now as soon as you get this message, you can start the next step. So for the Phoenix, what you can do is just press this button and the weights will be inputted in for you. But what I will do is I'm going to show you exactly how to put them in so that you can also follow along on the other if it one is in max supply simulator so you will have to come to the init tab and then press this arrow to go to the next page now the two numbers that are important for us are these two here you're going to put in 62.5 slash 31.0 so 62.5 slash 31.0 and the block fuel you can check it here and then you can also make sure that it matches with sim brief in this case it's 6.6 .6 tons so we will put that in here now the last step you're gonna come to the performance tab and here also Phoenix has a feature to input everything manually make sure that you have the correct runway selected sync the load sheet sync the live weather and then just hit calculate now you can just hit send to MCDU and everything will be populated automatically however again if you're flying the inables or the flower wire usually these these numbers you can you have to put in manually so I will show you how to do that as well. Now in the Phoenix, everything is being detailed nicely. So for the, our V1 is 155, our rotate speed is 155, and our V2 speed is 159. We're going to be putting them in here. So 155, 155, 159. It's very straightforward. Now you have the transition altitude for us in this case, it's gonna be flat out six zero, or 6,000 feet in this case and the flaps we'll be using flaps 2 and down 0 0.1 on our trim 2 slash down 0 0.1 on our trim and our flex temperature will be 61 degrees 
So now the last thing that you need to do before you start pushing is make sure your transponder is on. So assuming you're flying on a bathroom, you're gonna put in the squawk that ATC has provided for you. If not, just leave it like this and turn the transponder on. Do not put it on TARA just yet. You can put you have to put this only before you take off. But just turn it on from here and you should be good to go. So everybody, that is about it. I just showed you how to take this aircraft from a total cold and dark state all the way to ready for pushback. Now, if you guys want to see another video like this one where I will take you through all the procedures in order to fly the Airbus A320 from gate to gate, make sure to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to make it happen. In the meantime, if you want to hear my thoughts regarding the Inibels A320neo, go ahead and check out this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.